Hi there, my name's Tim and this is Surf Insight. We've had a lot of questions recently about stance. What position should I be standing in while surfing and also if you're practicing at home? So we're here on the lovely Famara Beach in Lanzarote and uh, we're going to use a dummy board. You can see this, it's just a soft board. And you might have that kind of board at home for practice, take the fins out. When we've got stance, the easiest way to find it is firstly identify where the front foot will go. So that's pretty easy. For the any length of board that you're riding, lie down on it and check where the correct paddle position should be. Now for me, on this board, little dummy board, about 6'10", this is where I would be. And then, I just take two pieces of sand and I'm going to put the bits of sand or it could be a line that you draw with a pen, it's up to you, exactly where this part of my hand goes, not the fingers, this driving part of the bone here. And it does not go there, it goes back of the shoulders and you can find out by putting your fingers in your armpit, dropping it down. Pick up two bits of sand or draw a line. And that marker there is where my front foot will go. So my front foot there. Now as we surf, of course, we surf very often at a slight angle. Probably not 45 degrees and definitely not straight. So I'm going to start with my foot almost parallel. Clear my sand away. Back foot. Where does it go? over shoulder width so that's about my shoulder width over shoulder width front foot we can think of later back foot kind of parallel how do we find this stance super easy stand and do everything wrong legs are straight look in the wrong way and bend your knees and when you bend your knees focus into your core feel that the legs are taking all the weight of your body. Don't involve the upper body, super relaxed. Once we're there, we just turn the head. Now, I can only turn that head so far, but now the most important thing you're gonna do is open the shoulders, turn the shoulders. Now what happens at that precise moment when I move my head, turn my shoulders, is that my skeleton, the way my body, your body, everybody's body is built, is that the back leg will start to come in. It has to. And that gives you the correct weight through the board. Watch again. Bend, head, shoulders open, back leg drops in. And your arms are wonderful. They help you paddle, they're going to help you turning, but they're your enemy if you bring them up tight like this. Nah. Back arm, soft, almost like a, playing a violin. This arm, soft, but look at the shoulder angle. If I learn to surf like this, backhand is a mystery. If I'm like this, hey, I can look backhand, forehand, but really importantly, my weight is driven through the board in the right way. Now that back leg dropping in, it's gonna help you with uh, turning, acceleration. It's super, super important as you develop in your surfing. Yeah, when you first surf, we're kind of a little bit parallel, you know, or the foot's wrong, your bum's sticking out. But as you get better, focus, down, bend, head, shoulders, back legs in, soft arms, soft arms, and check your vision, that your vision's always right. So with a short board, you'll see a uh, stance in the back knee engaged all the time. My back arm tends to fly away in my own personal surfing, but I always concentrate on that flex of the back knee. So coming through this, I'll throw the arms forwards just for a little bit of momentum, but engaging the back knee. Just rail to rail, loosening the board up, but keeping that back knee flexion. And as I go for the off the lip, the recovery contains the flexed knee. Even with longer boards, this board's 7 and 11, use of the back knee to maintain control, but also to help with acceleration. If you're flexing the back knee in, there will be the counterweight into the front knee to provide acceleration. 
So here I can see a little steep section coming up into the flexion, just playing around with my hand. But check the back knee engaged, coming in through a cutback. So the cutback, obviously, we extended the knee all the way through. No rebound. But this is quite interesting. I need acceleration now. So I've set the board to the top and dropped in. That back knee really flexed in through that point. Rail to rail transfer. Back knee flexed in all the way through drive through the bottom of the section and of course up into another maneuver. Where that back leg should be, that's really important. Arms okay this time, your arms are going to fly away a little bit, but try and maintain that back arm especially here so that the weight is still centered through that back leg and into the back of the board. Listen, when you're at home and you're practicing this, don't stare down. You may do your jump up incorrectly, but until you find that perfect body position, don't look down. Keep everything up, everything relaxed, turn your head and you go, okay, is that right? Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. Or, uh, no, I should have my front foot more central. It's pretty simple, but it's absolutely vital to your surfing. So I hope this has helped you. Remember that stance is vitally important. We want to hit the ocean running and ride our waves with grace and with the right control, with the right stance. Subscribe to the channel and we hope we see you soon in the next video. Thanks a lot.